Healing can happen in different ways. And for the Sistan Wapatinoyati tribe on the Lake Traverse Reservation this past week, healing looked like lit up teepees and prayers. Kellyanne's Lauren Solik shows you how a five day memorial brought comfort to Sistan, South Dakota, in more ways than one. <laughs> For five days, teepees were lit up in a fire burn at the SWO Memorial Park in Sisseton. I wanted it to be a place of laughter, a place of, you know, feeling comfortable um, and pray. The teepees were set up as a memorial for all the ways the community was impacted by COVID-19. We used red ribbon and the red ribbon is mostly for the mental health disparities that are happening. Um, each one of those represent um, depression, anxiety, mental health, um, PTSD, um, MMIW, you know, health issues. Everyone that's wanted, that's going through something right now through this pandemic is something we put up for. Visitors could offer prayers and painted stones with the names of loved ones they've lost. You know, we've lost a lot of community members and it's been tough. It's really been tough because you don't get to spend those final hours with your family member. A lot of them are passing away alone and, you know, that's very, uh, very difficult no matter who you are. Not only did these TVs allow a healing process with regard to the pandemic, but also a healing process about the land on which they stood. You know, this previously was an orphanage and it has, you know, a horrific history, some good, some bad. Um, but we continue to do good things like this out here in hopes that it will heal and help the people that had those, you know, bad experiences to heal as well. To me, it felt comforting knowing that you know, that our loved ones that are, who have passed on, um, who were actually um, living here uh, years ago, you know, that they get to be a part of this healing process along with us. Um, um, so I, I just think that it just, this whole thing was overall, um, it was amazing just to be here and be a part of it. In Sisseton, Lauren Solick, Hello Land News. In tomorrow night's Eye on Kello Land, Lauren will stay with this story to show you how the tribe has been impacted by COVID-19.